I'm so proud of how hard you're working this week. Let's see if you remember how to add. We're going to do some three-digit addition. Uh, it's part of those Easter printer bowls Mrs. Masco gave you earlier this week. So parents, remember, you can choose. If you have a printer, print it on out. That's fine, and I'll go over the answers. Um, if not, there's two things I'm going to recommend. One, have your children practice writing these out. I found an old whiteboard in my basement. It's in rough shape. Um, I'd have them try writing at least a couple out. It's really hard for them to write the vertical and practice lining them up. So I highly recommend, at least for the first couple, have your child write them out on paper or use a whiteboard. Um, if not, you can write them out. Now, don't feel free that you don't have to do all of these. I'm going to go over the first row. There is more option. If you want to do more, go for it. Um, but don't ever feel that you have to do all of these. I just want to make sure we're reviewing and offering for all kinds of learners in our class. So we're going to go over the first few, and then I'll hold this up again so you can check answers. So again, you can print out the sheet. You can write them on a whiteboard. Just write them on a piece of paper. But even if you download it, you can see what we're going to be going over. So it's definitely worth downloading these sheets. So here we go. So the first one is... And I'm going to use my whiteboard today to show you you can do it a different way. So we have 234 plus 265. You better remember, I hope you remember, what side do I start off when I'm adding? What side I start? Right is always right. It's the number one spot. Now remember, if you like to stay organized and draw lines straight down, you can. But if you do not have to do that... So we're going to start that one spot. So we're going to do 4 plus 5. And I am going to show with some touch points. We're going to start the bigger number. Count up. Ready? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Go over. So ready? 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 2 plus 2 equals 4. So our answer is 499. So that was a good warm up. Now we're going to be doing some carrying addition. Let's try the next one over. So our problem is 585 plus 285. What side is always right? I heard you say right is always right. It's the number ones spot. So here's some doubles. 5 plus 5 equals what? Oh, 10. Does 10 fit down here? Oh, I heard you say, no, it doesn't. 10. 10 is a 1 and a 0. Do you see the 10? A 1 and a 0. You need to bring that 1 up. So let's go ahead. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Plus 1 more is 17. 17 is a 1 and a 7. Let's go to our hundreds column. Now, don't forget, you do all this work by bringing that 10 up. Don't forget to count it when you add. Ready? 5, 6, 7, 8. So your answer is 870. Let's do two more together today. So our problem says 489 plus 126. This one I'm going to show by drawing the lines down. Again, that's totally optional. You don't have to do it. And what side do I start on? Right is always right. It's the number one spot. So this is a big one. So let's do 9 plus 6. Ready? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Does 15 fit here? I hope you said no. 15 is a 1 and a five. Okay, let's go over to the next spot, our 10 spot. Ready, find that bigger number first. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Don't forget the one up here, 11. Does 11 fit here? No, 11 is a one and a one. Do you see the 11? One and a one. Now let's go to our 100 spot, ready? Four, five, six. So our answer is 600. 15. Okay, let's do one more with Mrs. Masco. One more. You can do it. You're so smart. I'm not going to use the lines to divide for this one. So our problem says 435 plus 248. What side do we start on? 
Right is always right. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Does 13 fit down here? No, 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 no. 13 is a 1 and a 3. Okay, go to the next spot. Don't forget adding all three numbers. Here we go. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, our last spot, our 100 spot. Ready? 4, 5, 6. So our answer is 800, or 600, I'm sorry, 83. So I'm going to show you if you chose to do all of them, either printing it out or having your mom or dad or you even write them on paper. I'm just going to take just a second here to show those answers to quickly uh, make sure you did the right thing. And I just want to remind you, don't forget when you're carrying, you're bringing up that one, don't forget that you have three add-ons to add, not just the two. You'll do all that hard work for nothing. So even if you just did those top row with Mrs. Masco, great job. If you want to keep going, even better. Thank you.